Do you know why rectifier causes DC saturation in transformer core? Why rectifier needs to maintain its input current as sinusoidal as possible? To learn about this, continue watching. Hi, this is Benila. I make videos based on electrical and electronic concept. If you are into this, consider subscribing. Half way rectifier has a very simple circuit. It has a source, a diode, and a load. I'll post a link to my half way rectifier video and other useful videos in the description box below. First, let's see about this source. If we consider this mobile charging application, we need a DC supply to charge a battery. But the supply we have in our household is AC. So, rectifier circuit is present in our mobile chargers which will convert our household AC supply to DC supply. Let's say our mobile battery requires 12V DC to get charged. If our household AC supply is 230V, instead of converting the whole 230V to DC, we can first reduce this 230V and then we can convert that reduced AC voltage to DC. Transformer plays a major role in the reduction process. Before learning how the transformer works, Let's first learn about the basics of magnetic field. When a current flows through a conductor, it produces magnetic field. If you pass the DC current through a conductor, the magnetic field will remain constant. But if you pass an AC current through the conductor, the magnetic field will increase and decrease in strength and changes its polarity as the current changes direction. Bending a conductor into multiple closely spaced loops to form a coil enhances this effect. If we place a second coil near the first coil and if we pass the AC current to flow through the first coil, the magnetic field in the first coil induces an EMF or voltage in the second coil. The EMF is not induced when a DC current passes through the coil because magnetic field produced here is constant. The strength of the magnetic field can be increased by placing a magnetic core of ferromagnetic material this is the same principle used in transformer. Transformer has a core made of ferromagnetic material with high permeability. When an AC supply is connected to the primary winding, an AC current flows through the primary. This alternating current produces a varying magnetic flux in the transformer core. The magnetic flux is nothing but the measurement of total magnetic field which passes through the given area. This varying magnetic flux induces varying EMF or voltage in the secondary coil. Now, when the load is connected in the secondary winding, a varying current flows through it. This alternating current again produces the varying magnetic flux in the transformer core opposite to the direction of the previous one. Now, the total flux in the core will be equal to phi1 minus phi2. As I said earlier, the flux phi1 is due to the primary winding AC current and flux phi2 is due to the secondary winding AC current. But if we look at the current waveform of half-wave rectifier, the current is DC. If you look the circuit carefully, the current through the load and the secondary winding are same. Therefore, in half-wave rectifier, current through the secondary winding of the transformer is DC. But we need AC current through the secondary winding to produce flux phi2. Therefore, DC saturation problem is formed in the transformer core in the half way rectifier. Therefore, half way rectifiers are not recommended for the circuit that uses transformer. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section below. If you are interested in this kind of video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you will be notified each time I upload a video.